the just sentenced Private Bradley Manning now says she is a female. He is a female, and he wants to live his life as a woman named Chelsea Manning. He's going to spend the next 35 years of that life in a military prison uh, for leaking classified documents. The announcement about his gender comes just a day after that sentence was handed down. This is obviously news and an odd twist in this story. So let's go live to the Pentagon. CNN's Chris Lawrence standing by with this uh, development and trying to make sense of what it all means in this saga. Chris, what do we know? How did we figure this out? Yeah, well, basically, uh, you know, Chris, this has been hinted at for a long time. It was even introduced into evidence in court as part of his defense. Several psychologists came forward and testified that they had diagnosed Bradley Manning with gender identity disorder or gender dysphoria, basically saying that he was in the process of wanting to transition to a woman. And that wasn't something you can do in the Army, especially deployed to Iraq. Now he seems to be coming all the way out and saying, I want to begin hormone therapy as soon as possible. I want everyone to refer to me as Chelsea Manning, not Bradley Manning. The problem with that is he's going to Fort Leavenworth, which has, uh, there's no provision in the military prisons to undergo sex uh, hormone therapy, much less a, a sex change operation. And so uh, he's going to have some tough sledding there, although it is possible at some point he could petition to be transferred to federal prison. And in that case, there is precedent where the federal courts have said that sex reassignment surgery is something that prisoners can get and have the state pay for it as well. All right, so I'll ask you about the fact that the government will pay for hormone treatment or sex therapy in a second. But just to be clear, that split screen that we have of Bradley Manning in the other picture, that's him too, right? That's him as, a, uh, as, as Chelsea. That's right. Okay. And that was a picture that got introduced in evidence, basically okay. him living as a woman in a wig and makeup and saying this is who he sees himself as. OK, Chris. That, that's the confusion here, Chris, is that uh, not that somebody makes this kind of decision in that life. We're getting more and more comfortable with hearing these stories all the time, but that we hadn't really heard about it here. You're saying it was hinted at as a defense, meaning it wasn't I thought this was the best interest of the public. I thought that this was information needed to get out. It was that I was under some type of duress or some type of emotional disturbance? That's right. It was part of the defense. It was, it was his defense team saying this was a troubled young man who had some psychological issues that the Army was not prepared to deal with or did not deal with while he was over there deployed in Iraq and that the Army missed a lot of these signs and swept some of this under the rug. Uh, but again, going to Fort Leavenworth, there's just no provision right now for the military prisons to deal with this. So that is going to be an interesting question going forward is does he get transferred at some point to a prison that can accommodate this?